Alive and Well is brought to you by Pine Rest Christian Mental Health Services. This segment is sponsored by Pine Rest. Parenting has a lot of rewards and sometimes a lot of challenges. What worked for one child often doesn't for another. And some children have us seriously doubting our ability to parent. Pine Rest's Allison Brower is here today to talk about the nurtured heart approach and how shifting our mindset and energy can lead to positive change in our relationships. It's good to have you here. Yes, thanks for having me. Yeah, I am glad to. What are some typical acting out behaviors and symptoms of a situation that's concerning? Yeah, I think as we go back into this routine of after the holidays, I think that's something to keep in mind too, that some of these behaviors, we just gotta get back into the schedule and the routine of things. And I like to remind myself, some of these behaviors of a kid pushing boundaries or not wanting to follow the rules a little bit is normal, yeah. but we also want to acknowledge that some of these families, they've been trying really hard and they don't know what else to do. So that's when kind of, let's figure out a new approach and figure out how that can help. Why, is there a reason why for some children just, you know, all the normal stuff that we think normal, what's normal, right? But like all of the things we think we know about being parents, they just don't work with some kids. Yes, I think a lot of times, even if we think back how we were parented or what we were told in parenting books or anything like that, the traditional or conventional ways of doing things just really are not working for intense or more difficult children because just being told you should do this is not good enough for them. So mm -hmm. they, they want more. We have to figure out new ways okay. of how to do that for them. So what can parents do differently? So I hear from a lot of parents, you know, they're already thinking like, I've done the praise thing. I praise my child all the time. I tell them all the good things about them and they're still struggling or they're mm. still, so we have to find a new way of getting around those defenses because especially difficult or more intense kids have such guardedness and they want to push away any positivity so we have to find new ways how can we show people uh, how to learn respect and responsibility and one thing that I like to tell myself too is what's going to actually motivate a child to be successful mm. is nagging is warning them that they're close to breaking a rule or correction or punishment is that really going to motivate them towards more success yeah or even as adults when we get told about the things we're doing well and how to work towards that, the character qualities that people see in us, that's what's really gonna motivate kids. So enter the Nurtured Heart Approach, mm -hmm. NHA. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is a set of strategies that hopefully is even more than a parenting approach because I think it, once you learn this approach, it transforms how you see people. What you're looking at and what you're paying attention to and focusing on is no longer giving your energy to negativity, but we're focusing on the good things and the qualities that we see in other people. Yeah, there's se several strategies to it, right? Yes, yep. So we're refusing to energize negativity and then we're giving all of our energy, focusing on the positive things that we're seeing in other people and then making sure that we're really clear about our expectations and consequences. What kind of outcomes are you seeing from this? I'm, so a lot of the research now is actually within ADHD, but in all other kids that we kind of think are more intense or difficult, really finding that it's helpful that they are more motivated towards success when we focus on the good things that we see in them. And, and this is for typical children, but also those with behavioral yep. issues. All children, yep. We wanna use this approach, not on just kids that are more challenging, but all children, and that's why I also think it's even all relationships in life too. So you offer classes so that parents can learn these techniques? Yes, upcoming this year, we have some in-person and virtual options. So I'll be doing a virtual six week option, but then we have some new uh, one day events too, where you kind of really learn all the approach in one day. Um, and then you're supported by other families that are learning this approach too and can hear their feedback. All right, well, I understand it's getting some really great results and that is promising. You can learn more uh, parenting tips and sign up for the Nurtured Heart Approach classes at pinerest.org NHA. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.